Hey guys, and welcome back to Carrier. When we last left off, we fought our way through um, the plant room, yes, and we had to fight a massive carnivorous plant, which was fun, and uh, we found ourselves in a new area, which is ripe for the exploring, I believe. Yes, Hangar 2, Block C. Also, that scientist dude, I can't remember his name, um, that we found in the first episode, uh, well, one of the early episodes, uh, got himself killed. Right, so this looks like a uh, load of elevators here. It's locked from the other side. Well, that's a load of steaming ass now, isn't it? Right, so we've got some um, elevators here, which I guess we can go to any of these. Uh, what's through here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, right. Let's switch up to our handgun. Because it's got more hop. Run! Shit, you little... Little shitty bastard. I mean, honestly, dude. Is there any need for that shit? Right, you're done. How many bullets do we have? Yeah, not a huge amount. Uh, yeah, so I like the idea of this, uh, this weapon. It's pretty rad. Uh, so this goes to deck four, first hold. Do we need to go to deck four? Uh, game... Can we not? Oh. I guess there's no way through here. So we don't have to come through here at all. Is that what you're telling me? All right. Unless that door's actually just straight up locked. And we can't use it yet. Now, I can't remember what uh, floor we were supposed to be going to. I don't think the game is going to tell us. We're on hangar two, block C. Uh, let's try going to deck three. Let's see where this takes us. Might as well go exploring. Hopefully, hopefully, we're going to find a new gun. Do you even get... Oh, shit. Oof. What's with all this plant bullshit everywhere? What? Mushrooms? What exactly is going on here? Must be a dead end. Are you sure? Oh, come on. There it is. I just have to get rid of the mushrooms. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of some mushrooms. And I'm guessing we don't fancy a fryer. Uh, can we use explosives? If I can remember the buttons, that would be good. Cool, right, so let's drop down a T7 and see what happens, shall we? Uh, there we go. Right, run! Now, is that going to do the job? Yes. Yes, it is. That always seems to do the job. More or less. Apart from when it doesn't, you know. Um, go back to the welder. Try and save as many bullets as we can. I have a feeling we're going to need them. Like, really need them. Oh. Right. Wow, well, well. At least we have a nice new area to explore. This carrier's freaking huge, man. Which you'd expect. Oh, God. Hello. Um, can we aim at these things, please? Tom. You're not Tom, are you? I can't remember your name. I've literally just come from playing... Um... Ooh. Cold Fear. So... Can we bomb that? I'm going to say probably not, but I guess it's worth a go. We do have, like, an unlimited uh, container of these explosives, so let's go for it. Did that work? No. 
Ah, well, it was worth a go. If in doubt, blast it. Nuka Rico! Uh, ooh, what that? Bostas. Ooh. Zombies. Uh, dude, run. Ooh, fucking hell. That's a little bit more serious than we're used to. Right, let's keep away from this motherfucker. There we go. Jesus. Chest burster type dudes. Hey, you better not get up, boy. Right, so what do we have here? The game's going to let us pick it up. T9 bomb. Uh, okay. I guess that's just like a much more explosive version. A handheld bomb with approximately twice the power of the T7. Um, okay, but, like, do we need that for plot reasons? Ah, cool, I guess. Everything seems normal. Bullshit! Nothing is normal here. What the hell is the matter with you? Nothing is useful. Well, that I can believe. But everything seems normal. Dude... You are suffering some extreme levels of denial right here. If this is normal, I question uh, the universe you come from. Okay, I'm just going to say... The door is damaged. Doesn't look like it will open. Okay. No mention that we could, like, blow it open then. Oh, right. Oh, wow. That's quite a lot of rooms here. The door is welded shut. And I guess we can't... Can we do anything with that? No? Welded shut. Welded shut. Okay. So... So the world is shut. Can we blow these open? I mean, I guess it's worth a try. Uh... Not gonna use the uh, big bomb because we're gonna hold on for that. Do that, I should say. Hmm. Use bomb. Not very effective. All right. Well, I guess the game's just gonna straight up tell us if we can blow something up. Door is damaged. Doesn't look like it will open. Damn, dude. Right, that's interesting. So the doors that are actually damaged and we can't get through actually come out as uh, marked off the map, which is curious. So does that mean like we can open the world, the the world had shut doors? Because it doesn't say they won't open at all. It just gives us some bullshit about them being uh, world well, shut. So three twelve and three ten. All right. Um, so, what about this one down here? Draw is damaged, doesn't look like it's going to open. Well, that was shit. Alright, onwards, I guess. Weapon at the ready. Hmm. Fuck. It's quiet. Too quiet. I need to turn off my... PC speakers. Right. Three, six. Ah, cool. I was going to say, some of these rooms have got to open. Surely. I mean, honestly, man. Room 306. Ooh, what's in the lunchbox? Two machine gun magazines. Uh, fuck yes. Now, if only we had a machine gun to put the magazines in. That's some weird ass um, camera angles there. Jeez. All right. Well, I guess there's nothing else in here. I mean, machine gun magazines. That's cool. We just need, you know, a machine gun. At least, unlike in Cold Fear, you can actually uh, pick these guns. Well, the ammo for the guns up if you don't have the guns. That was kind of silly in Cold Fear. I don't have the weapon for this. Uh, uh, for this ammo. I'm just going to leave this ammo here. It was damaged. 
Ooh. This door's locked. Locked doors usually have the best stuff in. Wait, hang on. Is that door... Ah! Flashing doors are locked. Is that how this is? Am I only now realizing that? And what the hell happened down here to, like, steal up all of these doors? There's some weird funky voodoo going on here, man. Right, uh, how can we even get to this door? We can, but we can't actually do anything with it. Lovely. Alright, well, I guess we're going to be moving on. Is that all the doors? It is all the doors. Although, those other doors aren't flashing. Although, technically, they're welded shut. They're not actually locked. Um, it would be nice if a door was locked and we couldn't use it. Come on, you fuckers. Oh. Oh, hello. Hey, I'm part of the Spark team. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. It's just these damn cactuses. Uh, if they were here, we could get out more easily. If we could only get rid of them. What was the weak point of cactuses? Uh, Someone was telling me about cactuses recently, but I can't remember. I see. Then I'll see if I can't find a way. Do what you can. Here, take this. It may come in handy. Oh. Cheers, boss. Yeah, kind of, like, weird that you're just wandering around. So, the weak point of cactuses, uh, well, I don't know. Ooh. Right. Well, we can certainly save our progress. Sure, why not? And with that, I better go check that message, because it might be important. One second, me laddos. Okay, so, let's continue, ooh. I'm guessing we have to create some kind of chemical somewhere to uh, get rid of all these cactuses. Maybe there's a sprinkler system, or maybe we get a new fangled bomb. I don't know. Let's continue, let's go back on ourselves, and I guess try another elevator. I'm guessing that dude's still walking around. Also, there are two doors there, ooh. Was that door locked? I think I've come down with retardation again. I can't remember. Did we even try that door? Was it that that door was stuck behind the cactuses? Which is absolutely positive. It's uh, possible, I should say, at this point. Um, where's that door? Right. Right, yeah. Okay, so that's stuck behind the cactuses. Okay, Which kind of just looks like green slime at this point, but... Uh, cactuses. Sure. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, do cactuses have a well-known, um, chemical that is highly corrosive on them or something? I mean, I actually know somebody that studies cactuses, of all things. Um, so maybe I could ask him, but... Actually, he only studies two types of cactuses. Syndra, Ponta, something. And teddy bear cactuses. and I don't know. Chola cactuses. There are many people <laughs> more knowledgeable on cactuses than I. Um, yeah. Not really my thing, but, you know, hey. Whatever, man. Uh, now... Gun at the ready. Gun at the ready. Oh. What the endless corridors? I mean, if you like exploring corridors and opening doors, which uh, I do because that's like a Resident Evil staple, this game has you covered, man. Like, this game really has you covered. Because it is just... Oh, God. Corridors. What the hell are those things? They're like cactus monsters. A green door. What's that about? Locked. Be locked. It's written above the key slot. 
Uh, sure. Oh, hey, friend. Why don't you come over and introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, can those things hurt you? Probably, but not much. Looks like we've got another elevator or another walkway or something up ahead. There's a yellow dot on the map. My god, though. You have to really... Ward oh, hi. Hey, dude. Do you know anything... No! Don't kill me! Cactus? Relax, I'm human. Part of the Spark Team. Spark Team? Hurry to the flight deck. You have to get out of here. You got it. Uh, he's actually going. Someone that actually goes... Okay, cool. Right, uh, uh oh, this, this place is... swanky. Alright, I like it. Another T9 bomb. A cactus is weak against bombs. Now, you can't tell me that that doesn't look suspect. So, we've got another T9 bomb. Oh, what's that? Ship intercom seems to be broken. Of course, that's one hell of an intercom. Dude, everything is in order. Alright, well, I mean, the game is giving us this camera angle for seemingly a reason, but alright. Uh, level 2 energy drink. Fuck yes, yeah, son. I'll have it. An old painting showing the military port at Norfolk. Really? Interesting. Alright, cool. I mean, I guess there's sweet FA around here. Okay, I could have sworn that that door was going to open or something was going to jump out at us. And that's so bizarre. It's, it's really... Oh. Ah, oh, hey. Another T9 bomb. What's left of one of the crew members? Yeah, I mean, these guys were running around with T9 explosives. Um, right, so where are we at with this? Uh, dude, we have so many doors that we have not looked in. And that's just on this floor. Fuck. Yo, dog. I guess we heard you like doors. So we put freaking doors in your doors, man. I can hear some. Oh, hey, friend. I mean, what are these little things meant to be? I mean, honestly, like, what is that? What is this? Is this Chris's blood? Maybe, Barry. Barry, what the hell are you doing on this ship? Another corridor. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I can hear stuff. I can hear funky voodoo. Oh, hey, son. Have my pop gun. Have some of that. What do you think, huh? Oh, God. Right, well, you're fucked, and you're going to just melt away. They look like Frankenstein or some shit. I mean... I mean, I don't know, man. They're, they're kind of bizarre. B-block. So, B-block. All the green doors are B-blocks, I guess. Right. Is that B block two? No, that's red. Ah, that's locked from the other side. Okay. Yeah, it's a good thing that we I did discover that I can use this gun and it's Colonel. Jack, whatever's happening on this ship is much more than we imagined. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's more serious than anything I've ever experienced. They look like monsters, but if you remember. They were once members of the crew. It makes things a bit difficult. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But we can't allow ourselves to be swayed by our emotions. I don't know what happened here or what's going to happen. But it's our, our duty to find out and limit the damage as much as possible. Yeah. It is disturbing that we don't know where the doctor and Jessifer are, but Jessifer. all we can do is continue name. our investigation as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. I'm sorry for my weakness. There's no need to apologize. We're all human. <laughs> it's just that now is not the time to be emotional. Right. Yes, sir. 
Captain Lang should be releasing the external door to Deck 4 on the catwalk. If he's successful, we'll be able to enter Deck 4 from there. Until then, check everything that you can. Yes, sir. I am sorry for my weakness, sir. Right, uh, level four on the cat. Where the fuck was the catwalk? Level four? When he says level four, does he mean deck four? I mean, I guess that's what he means. Are you just gonna stay there now, dude? Probably. Um, fuck me. I'm, man, can you even imagine? Can you imagine if you didn't have a, um,. Apparently that's not a door. Can you imagine if you didn't have a map in this game? Like you would be so destination fucked. Jesus. Is that a... Right, yeah, that's a save room. Okay. So where the... F right. I kind of wanna. Let's double back before we go. Look, we've we're missing rooms here. Also, it's very jarring that um, some camera angles run at 30 frames a second and some run at 60. So yeah, it, yeah, it's strange. Sometimes Tom feels really slow <laughs> and unresponsive, and other times he's not. Yeah, like, this is a nice 60 FPS corridor. That's butter smooth. Um, let's go all the way round. Okay. Oof. Because you never know what you're going to find. And, I mean, this dude's just basically telling us that we should be going to Deck 4. But he's also telling us to explore everywhere before we go to Deck 4. So, uh, sure. And I'd rather... Run around and get a lay of the oh god, lay of the land. And these little fucks, man. Oh god, that was gonna jump, jump right down my throat there. Well, I'd say to you, buddy, get fucked. Uh, really? Can we, like, is that even is that like a door? I guess that should be a door. Right, uh. That's not the door there, is it? No. Right, so that door's covered by mushrooms and cactuses. Mushrooms and cactus. That's such a bizarre combination, man. Um, right, let's go back down here. I don't know. This door looks a little funky. I don't know what's going on with that. It's, like, brighter. This game is also incredibly... When I say incredibly, I mean incredibly dark. Uh, especially on the recording. So... I have hmm. boosted the colors up. Um, oh god! Right, yeah, that one was blocked off. I need a map, man. Hmm. I might, I might take a photo of this on my tablet and like draw my own map. Like this is fungus. This is fucked. This is a key door. Uh, dude, seriously, that's not how you climb a ladder. Put your back into it. Bloody hell. You Nancy. Can you say Nancy these days? Well, I can. Right, that's that door. Got ya. Alright, where are we in the magazine? Ooh. <gasps> Sweet. Merciful Jesus. Is that what I think it is? A machine gun obtained. Yes, please. We have gun. West Cobra. A machine gun with a 30 round magazine manufactured by Revenge Hill. Yeah, there you go. If you want to buy weapons, buy it from a manufacturer called Revenge Hill. I like it. Um, right, so we've got 60 rounds. We've got 90 rounds for the machine gun. Uh, I guess we just, for now, we're going to hoard the ammo. What's in here? T. 
27 bombs. This game is like throwing these at us. Does that instantly refill us, the 20? It does. This game is literally throwing T7s at us. I don't really understand why it's giving us so many of those. Two pistol magazines? Fuck yes, yeah, son. Come on. Come on. Don't keep holding out on your boy. Come on. Stop holding out on me. Okay, hold it out on me then. Uh, right, we're actually on 26 minutes here. Uh, I don't really want to cut it short, but we are out of time. Um, we'll hit up a save. And I'm probably not going to play this game for a little while now. We're like five, six days. So I need to make a note of what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Right, well, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Uh, this game is... Really bloody interesting, to be honest. Um, I'm enjoying the shit out of it. So, I've got to remember that... The yellow flashing square is the way back. We need a B key card. There's another little ladder, actually. Back the way we came. And we need to get rid of this fungus. Uh, this fungus. Not playing The Last of Us at the moment. Lel. We need to get rid of this bloody um, cactus, which I, I guess we're going to continue exploring this room when we get back to the, the video. Hmm. Interesting. The game is just... When you look at it on the map, it doesn't look that big, but it's huge. There's so much wasted space on this carrier. It's almost like they wanted to make a really big um, playing field, so to speak, a really big map. So they just filled it with corridors and endless rooms and, you know, it's just, it's, it's odd. It's like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just make 40% of the rooms um, unexplorable. Just to, like fill space. It sounds like I'm ragging on the game, um, and I'm not. It's just, I'm actually really enjoying this game. This game's actually just really silly, and it's in the category of it's so silly it's uh, fun. Hmm. The enemies are just wacky, man. They're just yeah. Uh, between this and Cold Fear, actually, uh, I'm definitely preferring this by quite a large margin because this is just silly. And uh, I think mechanically it's just better as well. Um, and it, there's just, there's more to explore <laughs> as well. Uh, that goes without saying, but Cold Fear, a lot of the environments in Cold Fear just didn't really have anything in them. And also like it felt like Cold Fear just fucking gave up halfway through and ended pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, this is a lot of fun anyway. I'm waffling. Uh, right, I will catch you guys in the next episode.